Good morning, everyone. I am here with you guys to do a reading, but also to talk about the word mentality. Um, I was reflecting on it yesterday for some time, and I broke it down into three word parts. It's usually broken down into two, mental and then the suffix iti. So I broke it down into three parts. For men, to represent man, tal, which in Hebrew means do, like do, condensation do, and iti, the state of being something, right? So, when we think about mentality, this is the way I think about it. I think of it being definitely a way of thinking and the ability to think and learn, but also how in our own being, we transform thoughts into action, right? That reminds me so much of the word tal, du in Hebrew. Condensation, how water vapor turns back into liquid water, transforming forms, right? I love this word so much. So we have men using their mind to turn thought, which is the vibrational energy, into something tangible. So you're turning vapor into tangible form. What you learn, how you feel, how you process things all shape your mentality. And a lot of us tend to have very fearful or um, I'll say be a little ignorant in the way we perceive and understand and try to relate to things, right? I'm really wanting us all to just take a step back and reflect on our own mentalities. Because if we don't build a foundation and a system that allows us to take the vapor and turn it back into tangible form, take these thoughts, these words, and take action and manifest something in the physical realm, you know, there's not going to be much change occurring in the world at the speed and in the ways we wish for them to occur. So I am going to pull my first card from a Workers of Light Oracle deck. I really think that we need to pay attention to our diet. Diet's everything. Diet is how you're going to be able to process your thoughts. How are you supporting your brain functioning, right? I have, let's see, I have five things that can help us, foods rather. Omega-3s, number one, I'm going to talk about omega-3s because they are essential. They are how our brain builds the nerves, you know what I'm saying? Um, it helps us remember things. It's important for you guys to get your omega-3s in whatever sh way, shape, or form you can. And also know that they make vegan omega-3s so there's no excuse guys the next one is berries i wrote a couple things down about berries because they help for oxidative stress and uh, inflammation of course and they have all those antioxidants that help our brain cells communicate with one another right and then we have turmeric which is my favorite i use it for my face i use it to eat i make turmeric lattes often um it's a boost of serotonin and dopamine if you want to improve your mood, if you want to be an understanding and relatable person, then you definitely need your turmeric. Inflammation, people dealing with inflammation, it's great for that. You got acne, it's great for that. But the most important thing about it is that it helps the um, growth hormones in our brain cells. So that's important. The next one I wrote down was dark chocolate because it has flavonoids and of course antioxidants from the uh, cacao seeds you know the beans help us immensely they improve brain elasticity and they also do help with oxidative stress most of these uh, foods i'm talking about help with oxidative stress and i'm gonna pull four cards just because i'm feeling that energy the next one the last one is nuts and seeds because they contain vitamin E and that helps with free radicals that helps with oxidative stress that will keep you and your brain communicating well oiled 
you guys have to understand that what we put in our body um, it communicates with us on several levels like your diet is everything we don't have time for excuses a lot of us like to make excuses I don't like excuses they're just enablers so yeah there's some other things that can um, impact our mentality like lack of sleep not eating enough or having a poor diet eating too much <laughs> and not exercising and of course tobacco and alcohol intake we I'm just gonna pull this card it makes sense I looked at it last we have to clear our minds we have to clear our energetic bodies we have to realize that nothing is truly outside of ourselves as we experience this life I was just saying yesterday that there's a big difference between me and a lot of people and that difference is the fact that I don't see God separate from myself my son does not see God separate from himself People can't understand that how could you not understand that everyone's looking for God and the search is endless you get tired because you forget or you didn't learn that God was actually within the body is the temple right oh I have little to no room for crap <laughs> First card I pulled was Buddha, increased awareness, deep connections, so trust your inner voice. If you resonate with this message I'm sharing with you today, bless. If not, it's okay. Maybe someone you know could resonate with it. Maybe it'll apply to you in a few days. Starseed, what lights you up? You need to think about what you like to eat. What's in your diet that makes you feel good? What do you like to do that makes you feel good? What helps increase your potential? and your ability to think and learn your mentality what are you doing to transform your thoughts into tangible form right life force express your driving passion sensual and sexual powers are increased and this is a really good one because when you are balanced in your diet when you are focused functioning on a vibratory energy that is truly in alignment with you, you can tap into those powers, those sensual, sexual powers. Those are very powerful energies. That's why I, I'll make another video about sex, but it's important. And my final card, the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Guys, what are you holding on to that's not serving your, your mental abilities? You know, once you tap into the mind and expand, how the brain communicates and functions the health of your nerves we don't think about that we're so ungrateful when it comes to our bodies it works for us but we need to work for it too just like with money your money should be working for you sometimes you will be working for your money it just works like that Guys gotta understand balance is everything. Balance, balance, balance. And please be gentle with yourselves. My thing I do is I really try to step back and not only view myself as a child, but when it comes to my son, like still view him as like an infant and regard him with the utmost love, kindness, and respect. It's really complex to do. But I believe we can achieve it, nonetheless. Especially with ourselves, we can't be, we can't be selfish. Like, isn't it crazy to think that we're selfish with ourselves? Because we truly are, and it's unbelievable. How can we sit and fill our bodies with poison? How can we sit and sabotage the way our brain, our mentality, communicates? And I'm gonna go back into that for just a second. You know, the mental deals with the air element, right? It is with the mind, the soul, the breath of life. And I got this from the tarot. Mentality. Your way of thinking and learning. 
turning thought into vibrational energy that will result in tangible form of something, someone, right? I am so honored to be here to serve, to share wisdom, clarity about things. I am intending that you all have an amazing, amazing, wonderful day. If you don't have a tiger's eye, you should get one. Rock Paradise is an absolute amazing company. When I got the crystals that I ordered, I was so happy. This one it uh, is a powerful stone that aids in harmony and balance, helping to release anxiety and fear, which impacts our mentality. Focus on its shimmery luster and it will help you make decisions with understanding and uncloud your emotions. Thank you guys for being present here with me today. Thank you for tapping in, tuning in, turning up, not letting the world keep you down. Remember, your life force and your increased, increased awareness is what's going to help you light up. It's what's going to hold the foundation together and keep you from crumbling. So find ways to incorporate some berries, some nuts and seeds, some dark chocolate, 70% up, turmeric and omega-3s in your diet. There are more foods that could help you. However, I thought that these were most resonant with me as people tend to be very picky about what they eat. So I felt like these are the most relatable. You can obtain these or access these types of foods in uh, many different ways and use turmeric. For example, I use turmeric, I use uh, black pepper, turmeric, sometimes maple syrup or agave, and I'll use almond milk, boil it a little bit. It's really great. So yeah, guys, don't allow yourself to be weak mentally. Let's build our minds, build our abilities to tap in, to create, to relate, communicate with one another. I am attending you. I'm blessed always. Going to do a little bell.